Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Thursday edition of the Steve Malsberg Show. Uh, John Gilliam will join us momentarily to talk about the continuing search for Egypt Air Flight 804. The search continues after erroneous reports that the plane's wreckage had been found. That turned out to be false. Last night we ha heard that a distress signal was heard from the plane before it uh, disappeared from radar. That turned out to be false. So. Um, we'll get you uh, the facts as we know them. Uh, we know that the plane had 66 people on board, 56 passengers, 10 crew, and security officers, air marshals, I believe three air marshals. We'll talk to John about that. Why would there be three air marshals on that plane? It disappeared early this morning as it flew from Paris to Cairo. So much more coming up on that. But I do want to let you hear what Josh Ernest at the White House had to say. Watch. It's too early to definitively say what may have caused this disaster. Uh, the investigation is underway, and investigators will consider all of the potential factors that could have contributed to the crash. I'm not aware of uh, any sort of intelligence assessment that has ruled anything out. I'm also not aware of any intelligence assessment that's ruled anything in at this point. So we're still quite early uh, in this investigation. Okay, now U.S. officials unnamed, uh, it's been reported all day, have said that the theory, the working theory, is that a bomb took down the plane. Now, Donald Trump got some uh, pushback and criticism when he tweeted this out this morning before U.S. Uh, security officials had made that statement or off-the-record statement about a bomb taking down the plane. Trump tweeted out, looks like yet another terrorist attack. Airplane departed from Paris. When will we get tough, smart, and vigilant? Great hate and sickness. And uh, Hillary criticized that in an interview she did today. Uh, she also said that uh, Trump is unqualified to be president. And she also said this, I want you to hear this, she said this when uh, it was presented to her by Chris Cuomo uh, when he said, assuming you're going to be the nominee or if you're the nominee, here's what she said. So you get into the general election if you're the nominee for your party? I will be the nominee for my party, Chris. That, well, that, is, that is already done, in effect. There is no way that uh, I won't be. Uh, that's going to make Bernie and his supporters real happy. Now, there's a new Rasmussen poll out. Yesterday, we had the Fox poll. Showed that Trump was up by, uh, I think, three points over Hillary, which was a reversal of that previous Fox poll. Today, there's a Rasmussen poll out. Trump, 42. Hillary, 37. And with unaffiliated voters, which we could also put up, Trump holds a 41 to 28 lead. The same Rasmussen report shows Trump is plus 22 with men, plus 22 with men, and minus 11 with women. So people keep talking about Trump has a women problem, or a woman problem. Tr uh, Hillary has a men problem, twice the size of Trump's women problem, at least in this uh, Rasmussen